Hey folks, Edge 4006 here doing a product review. Today's product we're going to be reviewing is an inside the waistband holster from CompTech Holsters. This model is called the Infidel Ultra and it was molded for a full size 1911 uh, government model if you will, 5 inch barrel. This weapon was safety checked before we started the video so we are good to go. Alright, I want to talk about this company a little bit. Uh, this company started way back in 2000. Um, been a you know, what, good 15 years in the business. Uh, they started making defensive and competition holsters, the high-end spectrum, and uh, from you know the quality of, of their products in a very small shop, they really grew to where they are today, and they're doing very well. This company is based out of Houston, Texas. I'm a big, you know, big on buying um, USA-made products when I can, and being that they're from Houston, even better in my opinion. All right, let's talk about this holster. This is a hybrid holster design. Uh, for people that aren't familiar with hybrid, it's com combining two different product, combining two different uh, medias, if you will. Uh, we have leather and kydex. This is top grain cowhide leather uh, for the base of the holster. Let me go ahead and move the pistol and show you. Very nice quality, nice stitching all the way but here, and I'll explain that for a reason. I'll explain that in a second, sorry. And they're using press molding for the sheath and injection molding for the belt clip. Both of these materials are very solid construction. By using press molding on the Kydex, the quality control of the product is going to stay consistent. Overall, Comtech uses press molding to form all their sheets. One of the cool features of the design of this holster also is that it is interchangeable. You see these Allen heads here, screws, you can remove these. These aren't just for tensioning. Uh, you can remove these and you can use multiple different, uh, I want to call them plates, if you will, um, to go ahead and swap out. So you had another, you have another large pistol or full-size pistol, Beretta or Glock 17, or even something smaller. There's a, lot, a bunch of pistols you can pick from uh, on the website, but uh, you can interchange them if you wish. That's a feature that I think is a plus for some people, uh, maybe, maybe more people, maybe a lot of people. But for me, it's not something I'm really interested in. Um, I do like one holster per carry method, per gun, if you will. Uh, instead of, and it doesn't bother me to have a stack of holsters or a bag of holsters, bucket of holsters. Some people on the opposite end of the spectrum, they're gonna like having um, multiple, um, not having a bag of holsters and having multiple options uh, with one platform. And that's definitely gonna work for them with this design. The craftsmanship on the leather is outstanding. It's very, very soft. Um, this this stitching, it's high quality stitching on the back here. But as you see, it's coming up here. This is a high point that's gonna rub. So they didn't do the stitching there. They just kind of cut it off and terminated it right here. And uh, I've been wearing this holster for right around a month now. And uh, it's extremely comfortable to carry. Um, I've reviewed some inside the waistband holsters before, but I have to say this is the most comfortable one I've ever carried. And I think a lot has to do with this new smaller profile design which i'm really really growing um uh, i'm becoming more fond of if you do one pass so you can see the details of the holster very very nice nice embossment minotaur holsters all right folks let me show you the retention on this holster again pretty good retention the gun is not coming out a full-size magazine uh, fully loaded eight rounds and ball steel receiver and it's staying locked up in there real nice. All right, let's talk about philosophy of use on this holster. Uh, this holster was obviously designed for concealment inside the waistband. So there's not any other application that you can really put it on. Um, it is very comfortable uh, to carry, but uh, outside the waistband, it's not, not, not a possibility. And uh, a range holster would not be. As far as summer or winter carry, some people might have their reservations of carrying leather against their body in the summer. In Texas, it get, in South Texas, it gets over 100 degrees easy here in the summer. Um, I don't think I'd have a problem with that. Uh, winter carry, definitely no problems. All right, folks, well, let me show you a video now of me drawing the gun and receding it. All right, folks, well, now I'm going to show you this holster, uh, the presentation, and how it receipts. This is the CompTAC uh, Infidel Ultra holster uh, inside the waistband design kind of a hybrid and uh, let me go first show you how it's wearing on me I'm wearing again uh, just a tactical style polo shirt from Condor and uh, an undershirt uh, t-shirt tucked in and uh, let me uh, see if you can see where it's printing all right well, I think it does a really good job of concealment let me show you where I'm carrying the gun where I have the holster at right around the four o'clock here it's real nice and tight, 
really hugs the body well. Uh, the design of the of the materials for the holster, uh, the leather and the, the polymer kydex, um, I believe it's injection molded, is uh, so slim profile but yet very sturdy that it really makes the gun um, kind of slide in and disappear uh, as far as the slide. Very impressed with that and it feels very comfortable as well on my uh, on my waist and my side. Uh, in the past I've seen some holsters where the end of the, you have some forward serrations, they can kind of nick at you a little bit and so on. But uh, this has been a joy to, you know, to wear, wear around uh, on my, uh, when I go run my errands and whatnot. So let me show you how this holster is going to present. That's how the drawing is going to be on it. So now you mind your business and you have to draw. All right, one more time. Real nice holster, um, real easy to draw, very comfortable to wear. Um, it's been, uh, been running, running errands, uh, having that on me, and uh, it uh, distributes the weight real nice. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, it's a solid holster. The, let me show you again also the grip axis. I've seen some inside the waistband holsters in the past uh, that I've seen like with Crossbreed where the cut had to be adjusted uh, to be able to get a purchase on the gun. This one right here, you know, I'm getting a full grip, no problem whatsoever. Uh, it has that cut out and that design and uh, nice purchase. So definitely that's a, that's, that's a pro right there. All right, folks, talk about options for this holster. This uh, holster, uh, the, as far as the color is concerned, it comes in black only, leather, black leather, black kydex, black accessories. When you go to the website, www.comp-tac.com, and uh, go to the page for this particular holster, the Infidel Ultra, you'll see a good selection of manufacturers they have. Some that you don't see from other companies, FNN, um, STI are on there, HK, Kimber specifically. Um, so they're, they're definitely, if you're in a 1911 guy and you're looking for a holster, like I said, this is an extremely comfortable holster, um, and you're gonna find specifically made holsters. There's a lot, well, some other holster manufacturers, sometimes, unfortunately, um, they only make one or two models for 1911s, and you find out it's just not a really good fit. Um, good selection of 1911 brands I see there, plus some other uh, manufacturers as well. So definitely check that out. The options on the belt width um, for the clip are 1.5 1 inch and 1.75 inch. So that'll fit most of the more popular belts that are out there. Um, some of the carry belts and tactical belts. And you can choose when you're ordering your holster whether you want to go with the Infidel belt clip, uh, ultra belt clip or if you want to go with the belt loops, um, the more traditional belt loops. Um, this clip is solid, I'm really digging it, and uh, that's why I chose this particular uh, uh, belt device. Like I said, if you can, go to the website, www.comp-tac.com. They, they have a variety of holsters and products, uh, gun belts, um, some really neat stuff, competition gear. Um, I mean, just go check it out, and I'm sure you'll find something that you'll like there. If perhaps this particular model is not something you're interested in, uh, but uh, go check them out. And I think you want, I'm pretty sure you'll be happy over there. All right, folks, uh, I want to wrap this up again. Like I said, this holster has been great um, to test and to review. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. Um, I like I said, I have a couple other 1911 inside the waistband holsters, and this is the one I'm probably going to be carrying for now. And when I do choose to um, carry inside the waistband um, with the 1911, it makes it very comfortable, and I'm. I think almost anybody that tries this holster out is going to agree with that. So I'm definitely going to recommend the product. Give it a thumbs up. All right, folks, if you liked the video, do me a favor. Please hit the like button. Give it a thumbs up. Um, if you please, if you can, please share it with the fellow YouTubers. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. And we'll get more videos out to you as we produce them. All right, folks, Edge for Down 6, man, signing out. Fight the good fight. And keep your goose tight, brother.